The Center for History happens to be the second oldest historical society in the state of Indiana. We were first organized in 1867, so have been in the area for many, many years. The Center for History has six galleries of exhibits. One of the areas that we're especially proud of is the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. We are the National Repository, and for that reason, we always have an area of our museum that's devoted to telling their story, their history. In 1943, the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was formed by Philip Wrigley, who of course owned the Chicago Cubs. It was the middle of World War II. He realized that many of his major league players were being drafted or on their own were going off to fight in the war, and he was worried that the public might stop coming to Major League Baseball games. And he conceived an, of an idea of inviting women baseball players to try out for teams and to create a women's baseball league. And that's what he did, and it worked. It was very popular. These were teams in the Midwest, and one of the first of the four teams that were formed that year was the South Bend Blue Sox team. The South Bend Blue Sox played every single year of the 12 years that the league was active. The league began in 1943 and played through 1954. And so when the league was trying to determine where they should have their collections, they decided that it would be very appropriate for the Center for History to be one of those national repositories. Some of the items, for instance, that we have in our collection are baseball uniforms. We have baseball gloves and bats and balls, the catcher's mask. A lot of the women kept scrapbooks that told their stories through the years as they traveled from city to city playing. And so they kept scrapbooks filled with newspaper clippings or photographs, the um, programs that would be handed out at the games. Each scrapbook different from the next one and so fascinating. We have a number of photographs that were taken. We even have footage from radio broadcasts of those teams that played. They played baseball because they loved it, and they were fierce competitors, and yet they built this camaraderie. It seems like it's a very poignant time in American history. The war was going on, and yet at the home front, everyone was trying to do something for the war effort, whether that meant going to work in the factory or being on a baseball team to help build the morale of the country. So it's a, it's a very important time in American history, not just for today and not just for next year, but 50 years from now, this will still be a very significant story and we are proud and hopeful that we can continue telling that story on their behalf.